Hey, so I've been living in my new apartment for like a month now and I just realized I didn't give you a room tour. I said I would and it's been a crazy past month so it kind of slipped my mind because I also had to get situated and just have everything where I wanted it and I feel like now everything is in the place that I want it to be. Also, I finished my first painting assignment so I put some paintings on my walls and I'll show you them up close but those are my paintings and then we have one right here. So once I put the paintings up, my room started feeling a lot more like my actual room because before that it just felt so naked and I was like, I don't like it. Um, also, if you've seen my room at home, you know that my walls are just plastered with my own stuff. So to have a naked wall was like, it was weird. So but yeah, I thought we could just do a quick room tour today. And by quick, I mean quick, cause I don't really have much to show you. I know my last room tour was a little long, but here my apartment, I just don't have much stuff. My room is about the same size as it was in my house. It might be a tiny bit smaller, I'm thinking, but I think it's about the same. <laughs> Anyways, let me just give you a tour of my room. So like I said, this room is not much bigger than my own room. We have one wall there, and if I literally just shift the camera like right there, we have the window and then the other wall. <laughs> so there's not much to tour, but I do have some fun moments um, and some stuff I wanna show you. So yeah, we'll get into it right now. Also, if you're wondering what this is, because you can kind of <laughs> you can kind of see it, um, it's my ring light. It's like a ring light desk lamp thing, and it's actually really handy for tutorials because I have a big ring light at home. But this baby one honestly works better. But yeah, I just noticed that you guys, when I moved, you could see that. Yeah, it's it's my ring light. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, so we are gonna start this the exact same way we started my other room tour. So we're just gonna go, like if you walked into my room, what would you see? And this is pretty much what you would see. So I, like I said, I don't have much stuff at all compared to my room at home. But if you just walked in, this is pretty much what you would see. And this is more or less my like general setup. As you can see, my walls are still like really, really blank. Um, I don't nearly have enough artwork to fill them yet, but I have a lot of paintings coming up, so. That's kind of what's going on. Quick funny story about this rug. I didn't order this rug and I don't even remember buying this rug. So I ordered that rug and somehow I ended up with two rugs because I didn't buy two rugs. I checked my receipt. I got them from Walmart, checked my receipt. I only bought one rug and somehow I ended up with two which kind of works out because it does cover most of the floor. Yeah, I don't know how I ended up with two rugs. So that was fun. I, I just think that's funny because I don't even know how that happened. Also, I have David socks. I don't know if you probably care, but I am wearing David socks right now because I'm cool. So once you walk into my room, once my camera refocuses, you pretty much just see this. And I guess we'll start with my bed because that's what we started with last time. So this is my bed. These are the bed sheets I got. Um, I didn't bring my bed sheets from home mainly because it would have been a lot to bring them here. And if you saw my video where I moved out here, my college my college, the car when I came was quite full, so we didn't have space for anything else. So I bought these here and they're just blue. And then the sheets underneath have this like checkery pattern. And you can see some of my stuffed animals from home made it. So we have like Spotty, um, we have the orange juice plushie. We have mini cinnamon bun, but then my sister gifted me early big cinnamon bun for my birthday. So we have double cinnamon buns. We have my Tsum Tsum. And then my mom sent me a package recently that had these two um, squishmallows in it as well as this is just my dino squishmallow I I always have if you're wondering what this pile of stuff on my bed is this is pretty much the stuff I never put away I just can't justify putting it away because I use it all the time so it's my laptop my iPad the two notebooks I have for my art history classes my pencil cases that usually go in my backpack um, they're kind of out of my backpack right now because I went roller skating this morning so I switched the stuff out and then we just have my uh, Luma Gurumi notebook and funny thing about this, um, there's like no pages left. I have like, I want to say 10 pages and then this notebook is full. So that's, it's kind of sad because I've literally had this notebook since I started Luma Gurumi, but I noticed recently that I am running out of pages. So yeah, that's my bed section. It's pretty much what's going on in this corner. And then this corner is my desk area. I didn't 100% clean my desk before filming this video because I didn't see the point. Like this is what my desk looks like majority of days. So yeah, like the biggest upgrade with my move when I moved out here is I finally got a proper desk chair. I got this orange spinny chair that it does go up and down too, so it's really cool. But I got a proper desk chair and it's amazing. I can sit on it for longer without my butt hurting. It's great, honestly. I've never had a desk chair and this one's nice. And I actually really like the color of it. It also matches the rug. Yeah. 
I picked out everything for my room, so I made sure like everything matches. And then we have another one of these carts from Michaels. I have this in my other room. Um, I did want a rainbow one, but they only had clear, so I just got clear. And then up here we have my keys, so my keys with my Pokemon lanyard. And then we just have a cup of water that I'm drinking right now. Um, all my inks and just various art things. This guy who was in my other room came with me. And then right here we just have some miscellaneous art and stuff I like. So we got my Taylor Swift calendar. I bought my too many paintings. These two painting uh, drawings that are by Clara Lou. Um, and then this, which was an amazing poster that was in my room that I really wanted to bring with me. And then a cross because religious things. And then right here we have my um, case for this camera. Just like, it looked good there. I don't know, I just put it there. I was just putting stuff on the walls. So moving on, we have my desk. And like I said, I didn't 100% clean my desk because this is just what my desk looks like right now. Um, so I'm working on <laughs> putting some goldfish earrings on Etsy. So yeah, I'm working on putting some goldfish earrings on Etsy. So I'm, I made some of those. And then I also have some ghosts I'm gonna put on Etsy soon, as well as I'm gonna be making tutorials for both of these. I'm gonna make a tutorial for the goldfish and the ghosts, so we're gonna have my first Hallmark Clay tutorial, so I'm excited for that. But yeah, I'm finishing these up, and I just didn't clean my desk because literally when I come back from um, painting in a bit, I'm gonna finish these, so I didn't see the point of cleaning them up just to bring them back out. So, yeah. And then over here, we have some loom mess that I'm working on. So I'm working on making some clowns. I showed these at the end of my squirrel video. But yeah, I'm working on making like a clown design for Halloween. I think it's fun. Okay, yeah, so I'm working on making a clown design for Halloween. I have this guy and then I have this guy. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. I'm working on some Halloween designs. And then I just have all these legs um, for the mini balloon dog tutorial I'm gonna film tomorrow. By the time you guys see this video, the mini dog would already be out, but I'm actually filming this the day before I film that tutorial. <laughs> And then we just have like sharpeners, um, glue sticks, a cup that I use for paint, another sharpener, the pride flags came. And then yeah, just some cups with brushes as well as some more clay projects I'm working on and some cotton balls for loom things. Uh, some clay projects, a mini clay dragon over there. I have a window and I know that some people online have uh, issues with people stalking them based on their view from the window. So I'm not gonna show you out the window, but we have my window here. And I have some fun, like, star and moon curtains. I really like them. And then right down here, we have my two pairs of roller skates, which came to college with me. I've actually been skating a ton. I met some people, and we skate once a week, which is really fun. So that pretty much covers it for this area. Just those things in the shelves, that's just some painting stuff. And then down there, we have my clay, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, that kind of sums up this part of the room, so we'll move on. Um, so over here, I did decide to hang up my hats. It wasn't originally part of the plan, but my walls were so naked and it kind of made sense. So I have the three hats I brought with me here. So we have my Willow hat, so this is Taylor Swift, a Taylor Swift love story hat, and then my Corgi hat. And yeah. And then here, we just have some like miscellaneous chapsticks and the Bath and Body Works and sunscreen and holy water because once again, religious things, I don't know. Uh, my necklaces. And then my mom got me this photo of them. And it's literally the photo I look the worst in. Like, I really want to replace this photo because that is one of my worst photos, but I left it in the frame. Honestly, my family, if you're watching this, you need to send me a better photo of you guys because this one is not that good. And right here we have Bubbles and Beep. They also came to college with me. Um, this Frida Kahlo book that my aunt got me as well as this book that my sister told me to read. And then we have my shelf, which is honestly a disaster, but I kind of don't care. So this is all my rainbow loom stuff. I have it in this bin. And this is literally all the bands I brought, which compared to my usual rainbow loom collection is like nothing. So it's been interesting looming with quite the limited colors, but yeah. This shelf is pretty much empty. My family sent me cookies in that, and now I just have the tin there, my retainer, and then some tapes. <laughs> Um, some light-up roller skate wheels, which I'm actually gonna get to test this week. I'm excited. And then here we just have books, um, roller skate stuff, as well as loom stuff. And this, what is this? Oh, this is my socks. These are like all my socks. <laughs> um, sketchbooks. All my loom children that are on Etsy. If you want to buy from Etsy, I would really appreciate it. And then here we have canvases. And then a poncho I'm working on. 
And that pretty much kind of sums up that corner. And then over here, we just have some of my bigger art supplies. So we have my giant clipboard, my giant pad of newsprint. My aunt gave me this one just a couple weeks ago. It's a giant pad of watercolor paper she never used. This is expensive. And she was just like, yeah, you can have it. And I'm like, I can have it. So it was so exciting. Um, and then my big pad of drawing paper and then just some projects I haven't finished. And yeah, that's pretty much it. The only thing left that's on this side of the room is my closet, which I'm not gonna tour you in, but I can open the door because I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I have this door open more than I have it closed. Also, my hair is falling apart. Let's ignore that. Um, but yeah, I just keep the door to my closet open most of the time because it makes my room feel bigger. Like, look, this is with the door open. It just makes it feel bigger, even though you can see like all my clothes. But yeah, I'm not gonna give you a tour of my closet, but yeah, it's just, it's just clothes. And then the very last thing to show you, I guess, is this bit of my room by the door, which has my Taylor Swift calendar, my other one, the bigger one. Um, the art I did for the August art there. And then my painting from painting two, this is our first painting. We had to do three paintings. So this is like my first painting for that class, but there's like three first paintings. So this is the first one of them. Um, we had to set up a still life. So I set up a still life with clay and some snakes. I took all the photos for the still life myself. And this was my first time with oil paint. So it's pretty good. Um, we also just have my backpack here. So that's my backpack for school. So yeah, that's my backpack for school. Right now it's full of um, roller skate stuff because I went skating this morning, but yeah. This is my school bag, which I don't think I've ever shown you, but yeah, it's Pokemon. The very last thing I'll show you is just the paintings that I recently hung up on this wall, which is by my bed. So there's my bed. And then up here we have some of my paintings. And I'm gonna be honest, I painted a couple of loom things. I knew I was just gonna hang these paintings in my room after, so I kind of just made them stuff I would want to have on my wall. And I've always wanted to paint loom things, so I painted one of my loom bees. And yeah, so this is one, and then I painted some bands. These were still life, so if you don't know what a still life is, you kind of just set up some objects and then paint them. So bands were like perfect for this. Yeah, I think that is pretty much it for the room tour. I really like how I decorated my room. I mean, I like ordered everything myself. I tried to make it all match. And honestly, with my paintings on the wall and stuff now, it is starting to feel more like my room. So I think that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you like seeing my new space. Um, subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I am doing a couple more non-loom related videos just because I want to experiment more on this channel. I think that is it for this one. I will see you in the next one, which will hopefully be soon. Bye.